Hello and welcome to the Golf Ticket Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. It is match 18 of the Northern's Good Cricket Club. Rack Country ranked 8th, sponsored by Taj 777. Playing against Balvo Cricket Club, ranked 7th, sponsored by Bed Brick 7. So let's have a listen to the pitch report and a toss with the two captains. bit of a grass covering on the surface. It's day three. There is a bit of wear and tear. Um, te teams tend to bowl first on the surface. So it'll be very interesting to see and hear to find out exactly what the captain decides to do at the toss. All right, so we're ready for the pitch report. We've got the two umpires, Ivan de Jong and Mawande Chembisi, uh, with the two captains of Northern's Goodwood and Balva Creek Club. And we're ready for the toss. All right, so Balfour won, won the toss, and what did you decide to do? We're going to have a ball first. Uh, any changes to the team for the last time? Only one change, Lee Clare, is when he's coming in for Jailoff. Just one win, win so far for you guys. So, so what would be key for you guys for this game? Definitely sticking to a game plan. I think we, we start off well, then we lose the plot a little bit. So staying disciplined. All right, all the best. Thank you. Northern's good. We're losing the toss, uh, unfortunately. So what's, what's the plan for today? Um, look, we've been struggling with the bat, so we're going to try and bat today. Uh, we have a couple of changes, so hopefully they will bring us something different to us today. All right, all the best. Thanks. Thanks. All right, there's the toss, and uh, we are ready for the action. Two ball first, and uh, golf ticket. And again, it's a match 18, Northern's good at Creek Club, sponsoring... By Taj 777, playing against the Balva Creek Club, who are currently ranked 7th, sponsored by Bed Bricks 7. I'm not alone, I'm here with uh, my co commentator, James the Cape Fox. Uh, James <laughs> King. Hi, Nathan, thank you so much for the introduction. Yeah, looking forward to a good game here this morning. Pitch, as you said, looking like it should be full of runs today, so. Bowl as normal, they deciding to bowl first, and this really is a match of the wooden spoon here. Belleville with just the two points, Northern's Goodwood yet to get off the mark here in the tournament, and they're going to be wanting to get a victory here today so they can claw their way a little bit further back in to the tournament. So, right at the top, there, that Rondebosch Cricket Club unbeaten so far, Durbanville also unbeaten so far. And it's been quite a competition so far. Those two dominating the competition and neither Belleville nor Good Northern's Goodwood really being able to make an impact. So today, good chance for Northern's Goodwood to get off the mark, one feels. 100% James. Team bat batting first. I mean, predictions, uh, what, what, what do you think will be pause, pass scores here on the pitch? Well, at the moment, we're really not seeing the sort of runs that we would have expected. You know, the top teams have been getting over a hundred and they've been batting pretty well. You look at some of the scores that Ronda Bosch put up batting second. They chased 104 on Wednesday, which was really good. They batted really well as well against Belleville, getting up to 70 and 3.2 overs. And Mornay Pence for them has been absolutely brilliant. Uh, some great innings from him. The one against uh, Belleville. He got those uh, 43 runs and just 10 deliveries. So he was hitting the ball all over the park. And Durbanville had been equally impressive. Just look at that net run rate, 5.778. I mean, it's almost like uh, you don't even want to even think what that's like. I mean, it's huge from their point of view. So they're looking very much like those two are going to be playing it out to see who's actually going to be. They'll be in that playoff for the first place as to who's going to go through to the next round of the playoff. And uh, just looking at the teams here, Northern's Goodwood batting first on uh, this surface and they're going to be opening up with Keenan Norkia and Jean-Pierre Matheson. And then we're going to have Tertius uh, Teabags, Robenheimer, 
is going to be in there. Second, Vivian Engelbrecht had one really good inning so far. Pierce Seister coming in in the middle order. So we're looking to a really good batting performance from them today. Ambrose Fasaki back. He wasn't here for the game on Wednesday. So good to have the captain back with uh, the team today. And uh, we'll see how they go. And on your side there. Yeah, so we obviously have Balva Creek Club. Um, explosive Andrew Sedena there at the top with the Cody Nevot, the captain. Just looking at a guy coming in. Lithia Zweni is coming in, as the captain mentioned. Lithia Zweni coming in. Blake Bramaris, uh, Kian Smith, the cricket keeper, Cameron Peterson, Kronje van Gernen, who will come with a bit of spin, Jan McCulloch and Kai Chetty, Keenan Mayer, and uh, just to conclude, there, Liam Falun and Elithia Zwani. So those are, the top, those are the two teams here for today between Northern's Goodwood and Balva Cricket Club. Match 18 of the golf ticket Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. James, first game this morning. What should you be expecting today, James? Well, I think if they can get off to a good start, lose no wickets during the power play, I think that's a key thing. Make sure you, you get in and up front you don't give it away. You know, 26 to 30, good score in the power play. Even if you're at 20 without loss after the first three, giving yourself a chance to assess the wicket and then anything's possible from there. 10 and over from there, going to get them up to 100. I reckon 80 or 90 it's probably going to be a good score uh, on this particular track. Yeah, so we have Northern good yet to get out with, with the come back with the W Balva Creek Club just with one game, two teams at the bottom. So I'm pretty sure that both these teams want to come back with the W. Yeah. Almost definitely, that W next to their name is going to be really important for them, and we're looking forward then to a good game. Two teams that we think will be evenly matched, and they've certainly been part of a match uh, previously it's been difficult and for them to get over the line and now we have umpires there Arvind de Jong and uh, Mawande Chembeye and uh, the TV umpire or third umpire Jacob de Jong and uh, we're about to start proceedings it's just another reminder Balvo win the toss and deciding to bowl first yeah it is match 18 Northern's good dude currently sit at 8th uh, ta sponsored by Taj 777, going up against Balva Creek Club, ranked 7th, sponsored by Bet Brick 7. There we see the two teams, and uh, Northern's Goodwood, then Yellow, and uh, Balvo in the maroon. Just another reminder, Balvo winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. Uh, James, here we see the two batters and the bowling outfit or the fielding outfit of Balvo. Yeah, so just uh, to check in with you on that one, there are only 10 fielders on the field at the moment for the team from Belwood, just waiting for their 11th player to arrive, and he'll go onto the field as soon as he does arrive. So you might see the umpires just going across there. And just looking at Keenan Nokia, who is going to be opening the batting here with his partner, Jean-Pierre Matheson. And uh, Matheson, two matches, two innings, not yet uh, got off the mark. So he'll be looking at getting a big contribution today to put his team in uh, the pole position to take a victory here. So it's the yellow peril against the men in maroon. And I was almost expecting to hear the anthems before the match and rally round the West Indies with Belleville playing. 100% Belleville in the colours of the maroon. There we see player number 10. It's... Uh, Jared McCulloch, starting with the slow bowling, uh, four matches, one innings, and with the bowling, two wickets thus far in the, in the four games. So just bowling at uh, this stage, just over the four overs and uh, two wickets, so we're expecting something good here from uh, Jared McCulloch first up, and he's going to be bowling from the town end of the ground. And uh, there, Mawande, the umpire, standing at the town end. About to start proceedings here in the match 18 between the uh, Northern's Goodwood, sponsored by Taj 7 7 and Bavel. Yeah, it's a good start just outside that off stub and man on strike. Keenan Nokia.
and uh, finally Keenan Nokia off the mark with that single first runs on the board for Northern's Gooded. I'm sure Jean-Pierre Matheson wanting to get himself in the runs as early as he can here, not off the mark yet in the tournament. Good start thus far from Jad McCulloch, very tight lines, bowling around the wicket, the slow right arm bowler here. Yeah, just one run off the three delivery so far. Big swap of the bat, and unfortunately, not able to gather that one. Man standing at uh, extra cover, but big shot here from the Northern Scooter dugout. That's Jean-Pierre Matheson off the mark in the tournament. He gets the applause from his crowd. The yellow peril there off to our right-hand side. Fantastic stuff for him. Another big swap. Opportunity oh. and it finally goes over. Mass and with mid-wicket. And uh, we forget the first boundary here. Lost it over mid-wicket. And uh, finally get the first uh, boundary here today. Yeah, he's gone two better than with his first runs. He's gone and got a four. So now, really on fire here, Jean-Pierre Matheson. Lovely Jessa. shot just over the man. He's been teasing them so far, uh, hasn't he, Nathan? Oh, Pitch delivery there from Jane McCulloch. And that concludes the first over here. Seven runs in that first over, James. Yeah, well, that's the big thing for Northern's Goodwood. No wickets down. They're going to want that to continue. And Jean-Pierre Matheson, six of those, a four and a two. First boundary coming in that over. He looks like a strong man. Well, hopefully we'll see those uh, arms and shoulders opening up a little bit later on and giving him a chance to really get going. Uh, we'll wait and see now. Is it number two, I think it might be, is it? Yeah, number two, that bowler is the oh. captain, Cody Nivot. No, no, it's not going to be Nivot. It's, uh, we're going to see who the new bowler is. And at this stage, we thought maybe it was going to be him, but it is going to be Cameron Peterson, number six. And he's going to be coming in with his leggies. And uh, he's really giving that a uh, good old tweak there. Able to get it to go both ways. One of the better bowlers uh, in this Belleville team. We see his numbers up there. There we see his bowling figures. And uh, ready for the second over here. False start there from Cameron Peterson. The seamer. So starting with slow bowling on the other end and uh, with the seamer on the other end. Peterson take two. Good start here from Peterson. Four piss delivery in the slot. Just getting a single off that one there, Keenan Nokia. Yeah, apologies there, getting that one wrong. I was thinking of a different camera. Remember these uh, left arm around the wicket. Beautiful length on that one into the block hole. And uh, just the single off that. Good running, in fact, by these two. But there's a single out there on the leg side any day here. Two men allowed outside the circle in the first three overs the power play beautiful shape there from Cammy peterson just a shape back into the right hander there i think uh Barbara would really appreciate these these uh, singles here at the moment yeah, as i say there's a run every day there out to the man here on the edge of the circle on the leg side at mid wicket One just got it down, just backward off square on the offside for a single. It's lovely to see Keenan and JP being very productive out there in the start. They understand that the power play, they need as many runs as possible up front. Why? Well, it's good to see that when the ball's not there to be hit, what they're doing is making sure they get the run. And that's very, very important for the men in yellow. And lofted over on the left side for a... Six first, six of a day, and that is huge. It is indeed. It's absolutely massive going over the 
Yellow Perils, all the uh, spectators there, over there. Umbrellas there, past the site, uh, past, did you see, past there, next to the scoreboard. It's gone down onto the second field. And that is that man again, JP Matason. So it's taken him a while to get off the mark of the tournament, but boy, is he making it count now. Definitely. And it looks like we're still looking for the ball here. There, get the ball back. Massive strike there from JP Matason up front for the Northern's good. Okay, Northern's good. Yet to get off with a W here. So we're definitely looking for W between here for the Northern's good against the Balville. Good return here from Cameron Peterson after that demolishing strike from JP Matason. One thing you can't do on these surfaces here, Nathan, is bowl short. You're going to get punished every day. Sits up like a tennis ball. I'm just waiting for you to hit it. And unless it's a really fearsome pace one. Yep. And that one just guarded down towards the leg side. Poor delivery there from Cameron Peterson. And uh, second four year for JB Peterson. And that concludes the second over. 20 for no loss. Well, what a great over that is. 13 off it. And Northern's Goodwood getting off the sort of start they haven't been able to get off to. Uh, normally getting into single figures with at least one or two wickets down. So Belleville will want to tighten this up. 20 after two. A wicket's going to do it for them, you feel. Get a wicket, you always start to bring that run rate down. There we see Cameron Peterson. 13 runs in that previous over. And we see the overs. Two overs down, 20 runs. And uh, run rate uh, currently sitting at uh, 10 runs per over, James. Well, there we go. They keep on this rate, then certainly I reckon 80, 90, a good possibility. But they need to keep those wickets in hand. Otherwise, it may be a little bit difficult to get to that sort of total. And uh, we see here the change of bowler. It is going to be the captain, isn't it? Uh, Cody Nivot. Finally, we have uh, Cody Nivot uh, bowling here, the captain here for Balver Creek Club, sponsored by... Bet big seven there we see his figures four matches with that one wicket only so again following up with the slow bowling here for Balver Creek Club oh, good start from Cody Nevote that's a line outside off unfortunately Kim Nokia not getting the bat on that one yeah, and I see the line here. He's bowling around the wicket, just uh, making sure that it angles into the right-hander with his uh, natural off-spin. And lofted over, and he gets a full blade of the bat on that one, and that is huge! Oh, that's another massive six, and that's exactly what the team here from Northern's Goodwill will be looking for. They want to get off the mark in this tournament and there's no better way than putting the runs on the board first up. Looks like this is a good surface to bat on here, Nathan. Definitely. It was, uh, we haven't seen much purchase from the spinners. The board just tends to slide down and uh, we see Kinok here getting the first maximum year for himself. And uh, now he moves on to nine. Strike rate of 150. Follows up with another beautiful delivery there from Cody Nevote. Unfortunately, he's not able to move his feet there, playing across the line. That's where he wants to be putting it outside that off stump. He follows up with another beautiful delivery there from Cody. Again, Keenan, the same shot, not learning from the previous one. Yeah, there's gaps. If he can get it through or over the offside field, he's going to get a boundary all day long. Uh, not able to pierce that uh, offside cover field as yet. Not even getting bat and ball. And uh, Keen Norkin stepping across and uh, another dot ball. Yeah, that's four dot balls now already in this uh, over. Well, Cody Nivard having gone for that six, he'll be really happy he's come back exceptionally well. Swipe on the bat on the leg side and uh, just wait for the signal there from the umpire. Just uh, two bounces and uh, four runs there. Just to conclude that over 10 runs with that six and that four. 
Oh, that's the, exactly the sort of start Northern's Goodwood would be looking for. And uh, Bell were not able to take a wicket in the power play. 30 without loss. So keeps on going with that 10 runs for over. Looking exceptional. And uh, Keenan Nokia getting in on the act as well there. 13 off 10. His partner 17 off 8. JP Matason. That's uh, been really good. And uh, we can see there that is uh, Ivan Bylaws de Jong there on our side. Man uh, with the knowledge of the uh, law book. And he's signaling it's the uh, power play coming up now. And the score is acknowledging that. And it's going to be a change of bowling. Looks like another slow bowler coming on from this side. Kronjer von Krenen, the man who uh, scored really well. And from a batting point of view, let's see what he can do with the ball. Yeah, so there we see Arvind de Jong out there standing at the golf course end. And his brother is uh, Jacob de Jong, third umpire here today. That's uh, Jacob Slow Poison de Jong. As we look at Kronjer von Krenen, see his batting looks really good. Bowling just the one over so far. And uh, on, one Jezza, wicket on, in that over. They'll be wanting him to get a wicket here, Kronjer, uh, for lads. this Belleville team. Look, he did get back into the context, contest now after conceding that 30. Just uh, another boundary here. Good take yes, there, yes. man standing at uh, long off. Covering that boundary there, just two runs. And uh, good start here from uh, Cronier. Cronier, third uh, spinner being introduced here for Balville. Yeah, they're working on the fact that you've got to make the pace for yourself. Cody Nivo doing some good fielding out there, wide of his position at uh, long off. Full yes, toss yes. delivery, and uh, that is out. And uh, unfortunately, first wicket down now for Northern Skudud. Good start here from Kronje Fulgenen. Yeah, he didn't get all of that. There did JP Matason and the safe hands of Andrew Sedain here on the boundary just to our right-hand side in front of the uh, Northern's Goodwood dugout. And he's looking at it again now. It's in the slot for him to be able to hit that out the park and he just doesn't get hold of it. And down the throat of uh, Andrew Sedain. And the new batter in now for the uh, men from uh, Northern's Goodwoods. Ruan for Kale coming in at number three. Down to coming at number four, but he's coming in a bit earlier on, hoping hopefully to get some more runs on the board here for Northern's Goodwood, losing their first wicket at 30. 32, sorry, 32 for one. Good innings there from uh, that man, uh, the uh, Jean-Pierre Matason. Rian Foucault, just the uh, two innings so far, nine runs. He'll be looking to add on to that. And let's see how he's going to go. And uh, certainly working the ball around for singles, maybe twos into that leg side is going to be something they're going to be wanting to look at. But uh, we spoke about the power play, 30 runs. We were able to get that 30 runs, but unfortunately, straight after the power play, losing that uh, first wicket. But good start thus far here for Northern's good. Funny yeah, often that happens in the tournament, where you've got a team gets 26 30 in the power play without losing a wicket, and then suddenly with the change of the field, they're still going for those big shots, not quite getting hold of it, getting caught on the boundary. Yeah. Beautiful shot there from Ruan. Mercule and a misfield here at the moment for Balville and they were able to get a few runs here. Very disappointing fielding there from, from Balville. Yeah, it was a bit like ping pong there <laughs> in the field. Going out into the offside throw on the leg side throw comes in. And oh, sorry, the offside throw comes in. Can't to manage to back it up quickly enough. So off the mark immediately is a Ruan Vakale. Ball, just one sliding down on the offside there, left arm spinner Lucky coming around the wicket for yeah, another dot ball. Yeah. Short and wide, and Ruan for kill. Not missing out in that one. And another boundary here in uh, Konye for it's over. Yeah, it's a good shot, getting it between the man at short third and uh, backward point looking at that you can see the man at backward point desperate dive to his left just can't get hold of that one and it races down to the boundary for four 
So what was already, would have been a good over so far, now gone for eight. But the wicket, very important to stem the flow of runs. Now the four pitch delivery. Just to conclude stop, 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 that uh, stop, 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 first over for Cornier van Gennen. Eight runs in that over to conclude. Over number four here. And just the one over away from the golf ticket strategic timeout. Just to remind you, golf ticket presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. And this is match 18. Northern's Goodwood Cricket Club. Eighth position at the moment without a win. Sponsored by Taj 777 against Belvoir Cricket Club. Number against Belvoir Cricket Club. Number seven on the law. They got the two points. And they're sponsored by Bet Brick 7. And the men in maroon looking to get another breakthrough in this over and they've changed the bowler again by the looks of things and uh, we're just trying to see who we have uh, coming in for them now and just to see uh, who that ball is is it blake blamiris that will be coming in from uh, this end yeah we can confirm that for you now Looks like it is uh, Blake Blamiris there. Uh, Blake Blamiris, number 16 for Belleville Cricket Club. There we see his bowling figures. This is a one game without a wicket. And I'm pretty sure we'll be looking to get a wicket here. Blake Blamiris, another, another bowler being introduced here. Second seamer yacht for Belleville Cricket Club. Sponsored by Bet Brick 7. And it is Keen Nokia, the senior striker on uh, strike here for Northern's Goodwood. Starting at the wide for There's opportunity here. And oh no, I'm jumping up in the middle. Black Bamboos, what have you done? <laughs> oh my goodness me. All he had to do was get a hand onto that and keep it in hand. He'd not been able to affect the run out. And how's that going to affect them? Just take you through this here. Good feeling by the man at that uh, backward point position. And Blake Blamiris just taking his eye off the ball. You can see it there. And he just couldn't get uh, to recover. And uh, so he's uh, going to have to abort that delivery. He comes in now again for his second ball. Short and wide delivery. Going down towards deep uh, point just for a single. Looked like Ruin Vakal was like out for all level money there, Nathan, but uh, just not able to recover, recover that one, Blake, and break the stumps down. They'll be wanting to make sure no more potentials for runouts uh, here between these two. Kieran Nokia, senior man there, 14 off 12. Ruins looked good so far for his 6 off 4. Short and wide, full and wide delivery there from Black Blamiris. But they were all over the show here at the moment, uh, Black Blamiris. Yeah, really good bowling. He's bowling to his field. He's got a 5 4 offside, leg side field. He's got a man at short third. Got a backward point. Got a man on the cover boundary. Extra cover, man at long off. So he wants to make sure he's keeping it outside that off stump. So no chance to hit it over the shorter boundary to the leg side. Just one run in the first uh, three deliveries here for Black Bimmers. He's getting ever closer now to that uh, golf ticket strategic timeout. Another wide delivery there from Black Bimmers. Just a single. So good start here for Black bowling to his uh, field yard here today. Yeah, and that's been the key so far in the tournament. The guys have been bowling well to their fields. You look at guys like Rondebosch and Durbanville particularly. Durbanville been outstanding bowling to their field. The evergreen Yako Castle, who's been uh, putting that ball outside the off stump regularly. Another swing and a swipe and misses. Key knock here. Blake Plummeris with another dot ball with the one delivery remaining now in his uh, first over here for Blake. Yeah, I think it was the other white ball Keenan hit there, not the one that was going past him. Uh, you spoke about Durbanville and Ronobosch, these teams currently sitting at the top. And it just proves that uh, Ronobosch are in a good nick here. Another wide delivery just for another single to end that uh, fifth over. And uh, now I'll move on to that strategic break.
So it is the uh, golf ticket strategic timeout. We see the golf buggy going on there. And uh, we've got the uh, two minutes just to remind you of this strategic timeout. Golf ticket strategic timeout. And uh, gives a chance for the coaches to come out and chat to their players. Just reset here. And the good innovation in this tournament here, Nathan, to have this just to remind you that uh, the two teams here, Northern's Goodwood Cricket Club, ranked number eight, without a win under their belt so far, sponsored by Taj 777, and it's Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Betbrick 7, a golf ticket here, presenting uh, this Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. The umpires, sponsored by ID 247, and out there in the middle, Ivan de Jong, and it is uh, with him, Mwande Chambai, as we hand over to PM. समय हो चुका है दर्शकों गल्फ टिकट स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट का और हम देख सकते हैं कि गल्फ टिकट द्वारा स्पॉन्सर हमारी ड्रिंक्स कार्ड मैदान में पहुंच गई है और दोनों टीमों के खिलाड़ियों को रिफ्रेशमेंट्स दे रही है गल्फ टिकट यूई का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद ऑनलाइन रेफल ड्रॉ है फुली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज एंड रजिस्टर्ड ऑनलाइन रेफल ड्रॉ फ्रॉम यू ए गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम अभी गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर रजिस्टर करें और खेलिए किस्मत का खेल करोड़ों कमाइए और अपने सपनों को पूरा करिए क्योंकि गल्फ टिकट ही है यूई का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद फुली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज एंड रजिस्टर्ड ऑनलाइन रैफल ड्रॉ गल्फ टिकट ना सिर्फ स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट के स्पॉन्सर हैं पर टाइटल स्पॉन्सर हैं इस लीग के भी जिसका नाम है गल्फ टिकट प्रेजेंस केप टाउन क्लब क्रिकेट लीग टी क्रिकेट का Asli animal. Thank you very much, uh, PM. And uh, looking at the points table now, Ronald Bosch Cricket Club and Dunwood Cricket Club is currently sitting at the top there, ten and eight points. And these two teams playing here today, the first game, match eighteen of the golf ticket Cape Town Club Cricket League T10, Balvo Cricket Club and Northern Goodwood Cricket Club. And uh, it looks like we'll get back to the action now. To, con to continue the six over here in the first innings. Uh, James, what do you think uh, the two uh, respective coaches would have said to the to the players? Well, I think certainly uh, on the uh, Northern's Goodwood coach, they're just saying, keep on going, guys. You know, 41 for one after five, batting at eight and over, looking at hopefully getting to 90. If we keep wickets in hand, anything's possible towards the end. Well, they're going to want to make sure with uh, Lisa Letzweni coming into bowl now that they're going to be able to make sure they get a couple more wickets start restricting the run rate. And uh, just uh, opportunity, unfortunately, man, standing at deep mid-wicket, not able to get that one. And uh, it's another six to start to Lisa Letzweni's first delivery year. And we look in here, that is uh, Ivan Bylaws to Yong. There, just uh, signalling there. He's had a look at his bylaws and he says that one's gone over the boundary for six. And he's raising those uh, arms up to the sky there, keeping his feet on the ground. As always, though, Ivan, lovely shot just over that man, Andrew Sedane, out on the boundary. Uh, just unfortunately, Key not able to get that one. And this looks like a week. Oh, uh, thought he was putting his hand up there, Ivan. But, um, yeah, but, uh, Keen Nokia stepping across and able to get uh, the full blade of a bat on that one. You see Little Zweni's uh, figures. Just one over so far, and uh, he's still looking for his first wicket in the tournament. Is he going to get it now? The youngster here. Yeah, looks like he's got a lovely action, nice, smooth, and. Uh, but with Offred. And they were able to take a single there for going down towards uh, point region. Just for a single, ready seven runs in the first three deliveries. Thing is, Nathan, with the field set so wide on the leg side, you let that gun go, misses the stumps, so they're not able to gather at the bowler's end. It's always an overthrow. So you wanted to hold on to that to prevent any thought of a second run. Oh. Opportunity at top edge, and opportunity and taken. By the keeper, keeper there is a Kian Smith. Good take from that man with the number one jersey. 
And so that is uh, the man here that's uh, going out. That is, uh, has been, uh, who was that at the crease there? Was uh, that man Ruin Vakale. And he has to go just trying to get on top of that one, play it out. The ground not able to do so. And uh, new batter in at uh, the crease now for Northern's Goodwood number five. It is, and that is uh, Tertius Teabags Robenheimer. Let's see how Tertius is going to do here. Yeah, Tertius Robenheimer, player coach here for the Northern's Goodwood AFC's figures, batting figures, third match and three innings with the average of 15, 45 runs in the three matches played thus far here for Tertius Teabag Robenheimer. Yeah, he's their top batter so far here for Northern's Goodwood. He'll be looking to add some runs onto the back of his name. Get that scoreboard ticking along. Just very important now as we're in the sixth over. Don't lose any more wickets. Make sure that you've got going in deep into that uh, seventh, eighth over with at least uh, only the two wickets down. Then you can explode in those last two or three and get up to a decent total looking here. Maybe 80, 90 if they can keep wickets in hand. And it's going to be a lot up to this man, Tertius Rovenheimer, on strike now to Letha Izani. Another one guided towards short third for another single. And a good bowling thus far from Letha 20, I must say. Yeah, it was just that first ball, Keenan got hold of him, Keenan Nokia. Moving across, and that's what he's been doing, isn't he? He's been moving across to that off stump and outside the off stump line and trying to play it over the leg side boundary. Just ticking it into the leg side will get two any day. Another four piss delivery and lofted over. Deep extra, and it's a dropped, unfortunately, by the man standing deep extra. Man standing there is uh, Cameron Peterson, drops it, and that concludes. That's uh, sixth over. Let's look at this now. Great effort. And he just plays that beautiful inside out uh, check drive. But it goes in the air. And he's right. He's underneath it. But he just can't hold on to it. And that's a very difficult catch from Cameron Peterson. It's over his shoulder. He's running away from the, uh, you know, towards the balls over his shoulder. It was a difficult catch, Nathan. Just not able to hold it into the hands. Bouncing in and out. And uh, that may prove to be expensive. Kenan Nokia. 24 of 18, really good strike rate, 133 for him, and excellent stuff. And Tertius Robenheimer, senior partner, captain, uh, oh, sorry, coach of the team here, and player, and he's going to want to be able to carry on there with his uh, partner, taking strike now for his second delivery. Jared McCulloch now returns. Bowling around the wicket there, Jay McCulloch coming back, uh, bowling for a second over. And uh, yeah, it's good running here between Keenan and Tertius here. Yeah, excellent running. You wouldn't have thought there was two there. Certainly played it down to that man at uh, long arm, but they're through very quickly for the run. And the second run, and really impressive uh, from them. So that 50 coming up there. In the end of that uh, six over. Again, Tertius, Robin Armour just stepping across and uh, just getting a single off that one. And he's in quickly this time. Cameron Peterson stopping any thought of a second. It's this danger man now on strike. Keenan Nokia. He'd been outstanding so far off his 24. Yes. Opportunity and... Uh, just sailing over the man standing at uh, long on. And that is huge from Keenan Okia. Yeah, that was only about a two second huge. That one, not a uh, 10 second huge. So, a uh, big one anyway. Just over the man at uh, long on. Not tall enough. He's practicing his jumping there. The man at long on. See, you can get that. But Keenan Okia dealing in sixes at the moment. I think that's his uh, second maximum. Good return there from uh, Jared McCulloch. That one just sliding down side and uh, Keenan not getting backed on ball there. Another reverse sweep. Very ambitious there from Jared McCulloch. 
Yeah, probably the right uh, shot to play there, but he just uh, overbalanced. Uh, no good for him on that point. Oh. Oh. And he bowls him! Chad oh. McCullough gets that wicket, and that concludes that seventh over. Three wickets down now for Northern Scudwood. Yeah, just getting a bit unlucky there. Kenyon Nokia gets a big inside edge onto the stumps, and he's got to make his way after a really good innings there, getting that uh, 30, I think it was, that he scored. And just look at this again. He's uh, that line really good outside the off stump and not able to pull that one across. If you're playing that kind of a bleak shot, you can expect that you're going to be in trouble sometimes. It just came in a little bit perhaps with the spin and he manages to get the wicket. There's a big wicket there for Belleville Cricket Clubs. They're three down now. And that's 30 off 22 deliveries for Keenan Nokia. Fantastic innings uh, for him. And uh, now coming out uh, to the middle. It looks like it is going to be uh, Ambrose. Um, uh, Ambrose uh, Doors, actually number nine here, Darren Lee Dorman, the wicket keeper who's going to be coming in, not, uh, not uh, the uh, uh, captain of the team. So it's going to be un Darren Lee Dorman coming in, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to make the impact that he's uh, been looking, not uh, Ambrose Pasaki, as we perhaps thought it was going to be coming in. Maybe leaving him to come a little bit later on. Right. Then you see the new batter there, number nine. Just warming up the body there. What a chilly day. Winter is starting to come now, yeah, in uh, Durbanville, or let me say Cape Town. And now we have, looks like we have Kai Chetty coming to bowl. The leggy, yeah. To bowl the eighth over, crucial overs now here for Northern Scudet. Currently, run rate sitting at 8.57. We spoke about where they would likely be looking to get between 80 and 90, even 100, if uh, they're able to just accelerate the run rate there. Well, it's possible with the loss of that Keenan or Kia wicket, you feel perhaps they've lost uh, some impetus there. And the four, first four pitch delivery there from Kai Chetty, and that one just going down towards. Long off just for a single. Yeah, the leggy here, Kai Chetty. Bowling his uh, right arm leg breaks. Not sure if he's got the googly or not. We'll have a look at it in this. He's uh, got two wickets off his four overs so far. So he certainly is a man who has the ability to take a wicket. Did come in for some tap on the uh, previous match. Now the reverse sweep and uh, just getting a single. Confident shot that one there from. Tertius, Robinama, the player coach. Ah, that says uh, that man. Darren there getting off the mark and uh, Tertius now facing up. What's he going to look at? I think he's going to be looking at uh, piercing the boundary here, perhaps on this leg side. No. Nope. Yeah. Just thinking about it there out there in the middle. Just uh, two minds there from both those batters. And uh, dot ball, third delivery dot ball. Good start here thus far from Kachetti. Just swipe down the leg side just for a single. There's cover on the leg side. Three in the outer ring with that one just backward of square on the leg side. Hit it too well there. Uh, that one had been a bit softer. Andrew Sadeh probably would have struggled to get them to not get the two, but just a single great over so far from Kai Chetty. Big swap opportunity. And that's another six. First six for Tursus Robenheimer. Getting full blade of the bat on that one. And uh, that's the first maximum in this over form, Kai Chetty. Yeah, Kai Chetty there just uh, getting that length perhaps a little bit wrong and... That is a very, very good shot there over the boundary rope and that first maximum for that man, uh, Darren. And, and uh, just stepping across there. And uh, Ivan de Jong not able, not giving that one as a wide since uh, Darren just stepping across. And now uh, that concludes that uh, eighth over. Nine runs in that over. Uh, 69 for three, two overs to go. So that 80 certainly looking like it's going to be achievable. Depends whether they lose a couple of wickets. But uh, 
90 certainly on the board and that's uh, on the cars potentially that's going to look like a good total on this particular surface you reckon nine and over a good total to chase and Belva will be uh, thinking okay that's doable here having seen what we've got so far and looking forward to the clash later on today as well between the Tigerberg Cricket Club the Tigers sponsored by MG Lion and Victoria Cricket Club uh, sponsored by Krikata Trust of India that happening 1.30 South African Standard Time this afternoon 3.30 p.m. UAE, UAE time and 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time all this in the Gulf ticket presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 uh, it's been an exciting tournament so far Nathan you've been here uh, a few days I've been here a few days been outstanding stuff really exciting tournament and uh, pioneered this uh, by Nabil Dean Oh, balls in! Gabby Peterson comes back on strike and gets the wicket. First delivery, the second over. Oh, what a beauty in the block hole. And that one uh, just takes out middle and off stump. And that is the end of that uh, dangerous man, the captain, Tertius Teabag, Robenheimer, and uh, the coach player. Oh, they just look at this one, the left arm seamer. He just angled that one in. And that beautiful shape on that one, Nathan. He gets that wicket crashing into the stumps. And he hears the death rattle behind him. And he thinks, okay, that's not the yellow peril. That's the men in maroon who taken my wicket. He's got to go back to the pavilion. So a new man coming in now. Who is that uh, we got there coming in? Number 13 on his back. That's Ryan Capes, the all-rounder. And we're going to see him bowl a little bit later on, I think. A uh, strong man. So let's see what he can add uh, into this. And a uh, good start here in this penultimate over here for Balville. Yeah, this man there, the bowler, uh, done a great job there for his team. This uh, Jeremy McCullough coming back in. Uh, left arm around the wicket. And he's just able to get some beautiful shape on that one. Uh, new man in now, as uh, we said, coming to the crease is uh, Ryan Capes. And he's going to hopefully get uh, a chance to score some runs here for the men from Northern's Goodwood. Got Cameron Peterson to continue. Beautiful shape there from Cameron, uh, just chopping uh, space there for the batters, the right-hand batters there. Oh, he's got that length right as well, Nathan. He's getting that one to swing in beautifully into the middle and off stump, maybe into middle and leg. And uh, you really can't do anything with those with the length he's bowling. And that one just going towards the offside and uh, able to just get a single there. Just a bit of a misfield there from the man down there to extra cover. I was hit really powerfully there with Blake Plamiris, I think, doing quite well to, in fact, stop that one from going through him. And they manages to prevent more than just a single. Probably would have been a single all day anyway. Uh, good stuff from the man in uh, maroon there out in the field. So how much of the yellow peril got left in them? Jeepers, that is an awkward and unconventional shot there from Darren. Stepping across and looking one to want to have a bit of a ramp shot, but uh, a conventional uh, stroke there. Yeah, he perhaps a bit lucky to get away with that one. Just let's have a look at that again. He's trying to ramp it, as you said there, Nathan, but doesn't really manage to get hold of it. It's a good length once again from Jared. And... Uh, that one just going over a backward point just for a single. And a uh, good start here from Cameron Peterson. Burning his second over here. Very tight lines. Starting off with the wicket and three runs already. So a good return here from Cameron. Shocking start in that first over. Going for 30 now. Three runs already in the second over with one delivery remaining. And another one just uh, going down towards an offside and uh, standing at uh, long off. And that concludes that uh, penultimate over there. Four runs with a wicket. Great Thanks. over from Cameron. I caught him, uh, Jared, early on. Apologies for that. Cameron Peterson, brilliant stuff from him. Getting the wicket off the first delivery. That's always a good sign for the team. And the men from Belleville uh, off here to our right hand side. Some great applause for them having uh, stemmed the flow of uh, runs there, 73. So that 90 not looking possible now necessarily. Uh, they're going to have to really go some to get to, to that total of the men from Northern's Goodwood. So looking maybe between 80 and 90, which is in fact 
what we said earlier on, that perhaps would be a total they would be looking at to put on the board. And that may be defendable in a situation where it's been difficult to, to get runs for both of these teams, averaging in and around the 70 to 80 runs uh, mark. So it would be a par score one feels for these particular teams as it's going to be Blake Blamiris to take up the attack from this, the golf course end of the ground. Durbanville Country Club behind us. But we are here at Durbanville Cricket Club. Been hosting this tournament. Another reverse sweep there from Darren to start that to ninth over. So far we've seen Blake Blamiris burning very full and wide, just attempting, just enticing the batter to go towards the offside. And one outstanding first over that was from him, just the three runs doing exactly that, not giving them anything to hit at. And uh, looking to just play that one fine down the offside. Then we see Darren just go stepping over, sticking across and rightfully so, Ivan de Jong. Just giving that one a wide, Ivan by Lord de Jong, as uh, James the Cape Fox would call him. <laughs> Oh, I think Ivan there, he's just been tired because he's not been actually had any exercise <laughs> putting those arms out wide. He thinks, okay, now I need to get this one, uh, definitely. Just a light shimmy there from Darren. And uh, good uh, fielding there from Carcetti. Just for a single. First single in this uh, final over. Four deliveries now remaining. Looking to hit between 80 and 90. So very, the final four delivers very important now for Northern Scudder. Oh, he's giving nothing away. You feel that perhaps you need to be looking at playing that ball over the offside or through the offside. So that, you know, get a four if he plays it over this man at extra cover. And a lofted over covers just for a single. Good cover there and the offside boundary sweeping there. Just for a single. And now we have three deliveries remaining. Blake Bermers bowling full and wide. And uh, good start. Doing good. a great job for his team here, Blake Blamiris. Just getting that ball outside the off stump, meaning they can't hit it over cow corner. We'll get it into the leg side where there's two runs any time you're going to hit the ball here. Another shimmy and lofted over backward off square. And uh, another boundary here for Darren. Must need a boundary for Northern Scudder. Yeah, he manages to get hold of that one. He's following the same tactics, just going outside his off stump. And uh, that one, he's able to just wait for it. And he does have to wait quite a long time. Slower delivery and manages to play it over that man at short third, uh, short fine, as uh, Nathan was saying, down to the boundary for four. So Northern's good was sponsored by Taj 777, getting onto that 80 total. Another shimmy across just for a single. Now we have one delivery remaining to conclude the 10 year for Northern Scudder. We spoke about between 80 and 90. They reached that 80 milestone. I think that's very crucial now. They finished very strong in this final delivery. Yeah, it's going to be big now. You know, Ryan Capes here on strike. He's going to want to make sure that he gets something onto this one so he can at least maybe get to that 85 mark. Four is the minimum of the last ball for him. Full start there from Black Blimmeris. Yeah, I think uh, Blake deciding there, umpire Ivan Bylaws de Jong not having enough exercise so far. So not only has he stretched his arms this time, he's also been able to do that uh, dead ball signal. Oh, that's beautifully played, but uh, it's only down to the man in the cover region. Then they're going to come back for two and they're going to make it easily. That's good running there in the end there by the Northern's Goodwood batters. And they are through there for two, getting their total through to 83 for the loss of four after their 10. And there it is, right between that 80 and 90 score, 83 for four. And that uh, is a total they were going to feel they're going to want to be and perhaps be able to defend 8.3 runs and over. And uh, over to you, Nathan. Just another reminder, Tyson is to ball first. Now let's hear what the coaches have to say from the respective sides.
Oh, it is the scorecard here before we take you through those interviews uh, with the coaches. Kenyon Nokia, best innings there, 30 off 22. Very good strike rate for him. Close to that 120, just over, in fact, 120. It was ably supported by Jean-Pierre Matheson, 19 off 10, nearly a 200 strike rate. And a runner ball, uh, 7 and a 6 from Ruan, Vakail and Tertius, uh, Robenheimer, and the bowling side, really good bowling there. Blake Blamiris, uh, no wicket, but just six and a half runs and over. He's a standout bowler for me, getting that in the right areas there, Nathan, and making sure it really happened for them. Jared McCulloch and Cameron Peterson, that uh, the left armour, also bowling well for their team, all of them at two overs apiece. So it's been a good match here so far, 83 for four. And uh, from here, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be taking you to those interviews uh, with the coaches we had uh, earlier on before the match uh, started and those interviews there with uh, Nathan as we uh, finish off now. We'll be back with you in a little while. Right, so we with the Northern's Good uh, coach, Tertius Robinheimer. Tertius, are you yet to, to register a win? What would be key for you guys today? I think the biggest part for us at the moment is actually just giving all our boys exposure, um, having them enjoy the game of cricket. You know, we started playing this game because there's, there's a lot more to it than just winning the game. Um, getting our guys out there to have some fun, get our youngsters some exposure. Um, obviously, it's nice to win. It feels good to win, but there's a lot more learning out of this game that we can take. Win or lose, it doesn't really matter. You spoke about the players. Any players to watch out for today? So we've got a few guys that haven't really had any starts yet. So I'm really looking forward to JP having a bit of a start. Um, that boy hits the ball so hard. Um, I would really try and stay away from the ball if he's hitting it in the air. Um, and then Larry is another guy. And then we have a youngster opening today for us, Keenan. Very fast between the wickets. So I reckon something smart's going to come out of that. All right, thank you very much, Tush. Thank you very much, guys. All right, so I'm here with the coach of Balvaku Club, Mark Giger. Mark, uh, you only have one win so far, probably hoping to, to climb up the ladder. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we played a couple of the tough sides. Guys are getting to understand the game and, and, and learn, they're learning from, from their mistakes. So hopefully today we can um, put everything together and come away with a victory. Is there any players that we should be watching out for today? Well, I'm hoping our, our big boy up front, Andrew Sedain, um, gets going. Because when he gets going... We'll get a lot of runs, that I can guarantee you. And Cody Van Nikak, our, our captain, scored a 40-odd in, in the game that we won against Tigerberg. So the two of them can get going up front. It will set the platform for us, our batters low down. All right, all the best. Cheers, thank you.
Hello and welcome back to the Golf Ticket Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. It's match 18 of the Cape Town Club Cricket. It's the Northern's Goodwood Cricket Club, sponsored by Tide 777, going up against Balvo Cricket Club, sponsored by Bet Pick 7. There we see the two teams coming out with the umpires Ivan de Jong and Mawande Kimberia, sponsored by ID 247. Just another reminder. Balvo win the toss and deciding to bowl first. And uh, the Northern's Goodwood just posting 83 runs off four wickets down. And it's a score here needed for victory for Balvo. It's 84 runs. I'm not alone. I'm here with James, the Cape Fox King. James. Thank you very much, uh, Nathan. And uh, here we are. Just seeing there going out to the middle, Andrew Sedane and the captain, Cody Nivot for Belvo, they're chasing 84 to win as uh, you just heard there from Nathan so it was a good bowling performance in the end from Belvo, just restricting the team they looked perhaps Northern's good with one stage off the power play 30 without loss looking that they were going to be getting close to 100 perhaps but uh, they didn't manage to get there so this is all set up to be a great chase here for Belvo Cricket Club looking for their second win of the tournament Northern's Goodwood looking for their first win and it's going to be that man Cody Neva 71 in his four innings Andrew Sedain 36 in his four innings so these two got a bit of a pedigree in the tournament so far 107 runs for the two of them as they combine to get that today they're going to get over the line Andrew Sedain previous game very explosive batter slogger there Andrew Sedain and in the other end is a Cody Neva the captain so a lot of batting up front here from Balville so very interesting to see Ah, oh, Northern's good at approach this game. There we see the bowler there, Vivian Engelbrecht. Bowling the first over, the seam, seamer. Northern's uh, good at Vivian Engelbrecht. Yeah, the Vivian Engelbrecht had a good tournament uh, so far, and maybe only the one wicket that, but that belies how valuable he's been for this team. Northern's Goodwood. Let's see how the uh, man can uh, get on here. Had a very good innings as well in one of those uh, matches. And that one just sliding down the leg side. And uh, quick running out here between these two. Understanding that they need to get those singles if they can't get the boundaries. And the big thing we saw there in the first match, uh, innings uh, here today, Nathan, was you get that 30 without loss in the power play. You've got a platform then to be able to build. So even if you do lose wickets, you're still going to get in and around that 80 to 90 score. So... They won't be looking to lose wickets early. They'll also be looking to export the power, uh, exploit the power play where the fielders are all inside the ring. Just the two men allowed outside. And that's at the moment a man at uh, third and a man at that deep, long off position. Another four piece delivery there from Vivian Engelbrecht. And uh, just enticing. Showing a bit of a power there from Vivian Engelbrecht. Say, young man, I'm here to show you what I am all about. Yeah, most certainly. And uh, showing the captain there of Belleville what he thinks, saying, look, don't even try. And uh, take me on, so he's not the captain. Apologies uh, for that. It is the captain, actually. Cody Nivote. Another full piece delivery just for a single. So good start here from Vivian Engelbrecht. The first over here is very key that... You want to start well. If you can't get wickets, just minimize the runs. And uh, for Balvo, need to get at least 10 and above, especially in the power play with all the, all the fielders inside the inner ring. Played off the back foot just for another single. Going down towards that backward point just for single. Yes, that man, Pierce Seister, coming around. Number seven on his back for the yellow peril. The men from Northern's Goodwood. And those uh, red caps and yellow sh uniforms really looking resplendent out there in the middle. Certainly got the cricket field drip going here. Taking over from Province with that uh, trip with the World Sports Betting Western Province team. Oh, they're looking like orange is the new blue there. That's uh, from Western Province. Another full pitch delivery and just getting that outside portion of the bat just for a single. So just one delivery remaining now on this first over. Ready for runs. Good start here from Vivian Engelbert. Yeah, can he finish well though? That's the question, Nathan. 
Is he going to be able to get another dot ball or maybe just a single to finish it off in a good way? Or are they going to hit him off the uh, length now? Oh, beautiful bowling to end off that first over. Just four runs from uh, Vivian Engelbert. First over down, four for no loss. Yeah, very good over. Four wicket, four runs, uh, no wickets in the over. So uh, they won't be happy with that, Belleville. Just need to consolidate, though, make sure. So good thing is they haven't lost a wicket in that over. Now assess what's going to happen with the uh, new bowler. And it's going to be Pierce Seister who's going to be coming on from this end, the golf course end of the ground. And he's uh, going to be going in to bowl to the uh, captain, Cody Nivot. Unfortunately, Reeve, the other Seister, not, not playing today. He had a good game in the previous game, but I'm really confident here with Pierre Seister. Good bowler. Yeah, Piers has been one of their better bowlers. Uh, the pace bowler always opening the bowling for them, coming back. And he's got five wickets there. Top bowler for them in the tournament. Just uh, bowling uh, the uh, six overs. So five wickets in his six overs. Great strike rate for him. We're expecting good stuff here from uh, Piers Seister. The uh, young man also batting well in the one innings that he did play in the tournament. Another one, first one going down towards offside. Just a bit of shape, just uh, swing away from the right hand batter there. So, yeah, good start here from Pierce Seister. And that's what he's been good at so far, keeping that ball in the right areas outside the off stump. You don't want to be bowling this ball anywhere near middle and leg. Otherwise, you're going to get picked up into the leg side. And you don't have much protection in the power play. Short and wide, an opportunity here and taken. First wicket goes down now for Pavel Cricket Club. Great take from a man standing at uh, in the covers. And that's the first wicket down, 4-4-1. Four, four, and that's the captain, Cody Nebo, gone two off those five deliveries. And he has to go just uh, feeling the pressure, not getting the runs on the board. He plays that one up into the air, trying to slash it through the offside, or perhaps over that offside ring field. And uh, to the crease, coming now is uh, Blake Blumiris, number 16, man who bowled well earlier on today. And he's going to see if he can't do that with the bat. Is it going to be his day today? Certainly, unfortunately for Cody, Nivo, not his day with the bat today. But uh, experienced Andrew Sedane there now with Blake Blumiris and a good catch out there in the covers to make sure that uh, they lose their first wicket on four. Black Plymouth comes in now, the all-rounder. Bowled very well. Unfortunately, not able to get runs. Uh, economy is 6.5. 13 runs in his two overs. So, all-rounder here. Key member, you see, that's his figures. Batting first, bat here, out here for Black Plymouth. So far, so good with the ball. Let's see if he does the same now with the bat. Well, certainly a lot for him to do now. Four for one in the second over. That's not quite the start they would have wanted. And this man, Pierce Seist, the sixth wicket of the tournament. He is on fire here. We were talking a bit about that strike rate earlier on. Now he bowled six overs so far, five wickets. He's almost getting a wicket every single over. Yeah. And the one is going down, sliding away. Unfortunately, beating man standing at deep third. Head of the back foot and got it down towards deep third. Another boundary, first boundary here for Black Rimmers. Good start. Yeah, what a stunning shot. Just timing it beautifully down to the right of the man at the third. And he just can't get around to stop that one. And it was uh, no chance, no price for the man at backward point. And now they've moved that third right a little bit wider down there to prevent that boundary. What you'll probably edge this one now down through slip for four. Again, a bit of shape away from the right-hander. Blake not able to gather that one. So, uh, no foot movement today from Blake Plimeris. Yeah, we'd be happy with that four that he scored off the first delivery. Just set up nicely for him. You can't bowl short on this surface. We say that time and time again. Anything short just sits up and allows you, the batter, to have the time to be able to pick the spot. And that he managed to do beautifully off that first delivery. Just another reminder in the power play, just too allowed outside the inner ring. Opportunity and uh, opportunity and able to get that one 
Mastering at deep third. Just getting a signal there from the umpire. Looks like it is runs. So good bowling here. Full piss delivery there from uh, Pierre Seister. Yeah, perhaps a little bit unlucky to feel that he uh, didn't get anything for that delivery. But that man at third now looking like he's in the right position. Able to cut that one off. The went fine. And it looks like he's in a good position to stop the one going a bit wide of him down to his right as Andrew Sedane takes strike now. What can he do against Piers Seister? Well, short delivery and a swap towards the leg side. And standing at uh, long on just for a single. Yeah, he swatted that one uh, down here to uh, number 16, Jean-Pierre Matheson. Man has scored 19 of 10 balls earlier on today. Great strike rate for him, 190. And he had a good partnership there with Keenan Nokia up front. So 10 for one after two. And they just want to consolidate next over. Very important. Maybe another 10 runs. Maybe a little bit more than that if they can in the power play. Just don't lose another wicket, Bobble. That's what they'll be saying. Let's get to the end of this power play. Let's see then where the twos are maybe on offer because... Reckon we're going to see some running between the wickets here. Blamiris looks like he's full of running out there. After the power play, it does tend to open up the fielding opportunities for runs. But good start here, I'll tell you, for Northern Scooter. There, Vivian Engelbrecht coming in now for his second over. Yeah, just a slight swap over, short third. And uh, three bounces for four. Welcome boundaries for Andrew Sedane. The opening batter here for Pavel Cricket Club. That's uh, umpire Mwande, Energizer Shambai there, having a good uh, four signaling, and that was a very good shot uh, in the end. But it was, in fact, the top edge. Don't think he intended it to come down here over the man at short third, but he gets the reward for going big at that one. Oh, good return there from Vivian Engelbrecht. One just shaping back into the right-hander. And uh, Andrew Sudeh not having good put a bat on that one yeah good quick work there from the uh, keeper behind the stumps there and that is, uh, is uh, Darren Lee Dorman not able to score too many earlier on just run a ball seven that one just poor delivery sliding down the leg side just waiting for signal from the umpire no, no. from day. just a leg by signal there from the umpire leg by the umpire sponsored by ID247. Loosener there from Vivian Engelbrecht. Yeah, just the one tap of the leg there from uh, Moanda. It's because he left his battery behind here <laughs> on the uh, table. His Energizer battery left that behind. Would have been throwing at least three taps of the leg for that leg by otherwise. Yes, yes. Just stepping oh. across there. And that piece of man standing at square leg. And uh, unfortunately, not having the legs there to go towards the boundary. Couple of runs there. Opportunity and safe. Good running out there for Pavel. Just a taps there from the from a dugout supporters of Pavel Creek Club. Yeah, ruin for Cal. They're not able to get round, and he just let that one go uh, past him. And they managed to get through for three. Brilliant running, must be said. Another one in the slot, going towards uh, long one just for a single. Fielded there is uh, Pierre Seister, that man who was uh, bowling. Beg your pardon, was uh, Tertius Robenheimer, the uh, player uh, coach. Player coach, Tertius Teabag Robenheimer, just stopping that one nicely to prevent more than just the singles. Blake Blumeris on strike. Again, stepping across there, Blake Blumeris in that gap, just able to get a single. Fielded nicely there from that man, Ambrose Fusaki, the captain. Yeah, so we had an interesting uh, situation in the, one of the previous games there. We had Ambrose Fusaki and I think another player's first name was Kirtley. So when they put it up on the screen there, we're Kirtley bowling to Ambrose. It was really interesting. And uh, we weren't sure they got over 500 wickets, but who knows. Tall man, Kirtley Ambrose from the West Indies. I remember him playing in the first test match that Africa ever played post-isolation against the West Indies, him and uh, that other, I can't remember the other guy's, uh, other bowler's name now. We'll get back to that, but Kurt Gamber, that tall West Indian bowler, brilliant bowler. Good over there again from Vivian Engelbrecht. Got the 10 off that, though, they did, the men from Belleville. So they'll be happy with that, 20 for one 
after the power play. Yep, yeah, we know it's 10 runs behind where the team was from Northern's Goodwood, but only lost the one wicket. Very important. It was, remember, off the first ball of the fourth over that, in fact, it was Northern's Goodwood lost the wicket. Change of bowling from this end. And that new bowler there, number three, Ashley Green. So it looks like it's going to be a bowling change here. Yeah, Good Ashley start Green. so far from Northern's Goodwood. Just able to restrict the team. Bowl just under six runs per over. Yeah, I think both teams probably not feel too bad with the start they've both made here, both from a batting and bowling point of view. 20 perhaps a little bit below par on what they would have been looking for. But Ashley Green so far, just the two overs in the tournament. And uh, this man now wanting to be keeping it really tight. It looks like it's a full start, dead ball to start for, from Ashley Green. Bit of a nerve, nerves there from Ashley Green, perhaps. Oh, I think he just probably might well be or just lost his run up. I think he's just deciding what he's going to bowl, keeping it tight outside the off stumps. Got to be the way to go. And as uh, James King says, a good line, just outside off. And uh, Ashley Green obliged and uh, getting a dot ball there, to good cover there from Tertius Robin Armour, the captain, or let me say the player coach. Oh, Loosner there. And uh, stepping across and able to get a boundary, just two bounces, four runs, full pitch delivery there from Ashley Green. Poor start. Uh, it's not where he wanted it at all. First ball was perfect outside the off stump. He's got three men out posted on the off side. Just got the two men on the leg side. And that was not anywhere near being uh, the delivery that he wanted to bowl. Just coming out of the hand completely wrong. But uh, it's four very welcome runs there for the team from Belbo. 24 now for one after two deliveries in the fourth over. And if I remember rightly, the fourth over only going for four runs in the team when the team from uh, Belva were bowling. So this could well be evening out the scores if they get a couple more boundaries. It's a light shimmy there from Blake Bimaris. And uh, just taking the ball, guiding it down towards long on for single. So good uh, innings here thus far from Blake. Just 14, eight deliveries. So definitely need uh, to pick up the run rate here for Belva Creek Club. Yeah, Andrew Stain, strong man as well. Gets anything to hit, he's going to hit it. Ashley Green, going to want to make sure he gets us in the right spot. And one going down towards the left side, and that's huge. That is indeed, that is absolutely massive. That's at least an eight second huge there. And uh, Nathan giving you that one, he's giving you the Gene Moly on there, and just see, he picks us up. That's not where you want to be bowling. And as we said, strong man there, Andrew Sedane, just picks it up beautifully and plays it over that leg side boundary. No way, even if you're 20 foot tall, you're going to catch that one. And brilliant shot. And that's the long side uh, of the boundary. Unfortunately, Ashley not able to hit that right mark there. Already 11 runs in the first four deliveries here for Ashley Green. Ready both these batters on 14. I come up now to the stumps as the keeper. Lofted over, opportunity now, and he's lofted over. Another six runs, six, six year for Pavel Cricket Club. And he's keeping his feet on the ground, reaching for the sky. There is Ivan Bylaws, De Jong, and he's signaled that six. That's a huge shot there by the... Uh, Better and that is Andrew Sedain. Now he's just gone to like it really increases strike rate. And it says JP Mateus and can't reach that one. Opportunity take it and a few passes, four runs, and that is six, six, and followed by four runs. To conclude that first over there from Ashley Green, 21 runs. Very expensive. Good way to finish that over. Well, 41 for one now. 21 off the over. And that is an absolutely massive over that these two men...
from Belleville have put together. So now four overs gone, 41. They're well on track to the 84, nearly halfway there, and still got six overs to go. So 43 needed off six. They've put it down to seven runs and over, just over that seven runs and over. Look at that, 24 off 11 for Andrew Sedane. Remember, the beginning of the over, he was on eight off eight. So you can see that he's put 16 runs in three shots. Wow. I beg your pardon, this is actually a six, but again... Good way to finish that over there from Bravo Cricket Club. And there we see Ashley Green there. That big score runs. The key part is 21 runs. And uh, Bravo Cricket Club definitely would accept that. Change ball here. Vivian's uh, bowled his two overs. And it's going to be that man uh, number two, Captain Ambrose Fasaki, going to be coming in for Northern's uh, Goodwood. And there under the pump here at the moment. That last over, 21. Huge for the team from Belleville looking for their second victory here to put them back up to the mid table currently on two points Northern's Goodwood yet to get off the mark looking like they at 20 for one looked like perhaps uh, Belleville were going to struggle to get to this total of 84 but now on is very much even four pit four toss to start that uh Fifth over here for Ambrose Fasaki. Nearly said Ambrose uh, Goodly. Ambrose there for a bit. Um, James, you are hinting a bit that you are liking that West Indies team. Is West Indies your favourite team, James? Oh, well, certainly one of my favourite teams, the men in maroon. Always like to rally round the West Indies. Ah! Right over his opportunity. And uh, my one did not bother the, that one. Empire, sponsored by ID247. Yeah, I told you there. But one day, Energizer Chambai, he's not energized at all. That one looking like it was probably going down the leg side. That uh, foot across, but down in front of leg stump. Uh, not giving that decision. Better return here from Ambrose Vasaki. And uh, looks like it was Tertius Urbanama, the captain, player, coach. With that child the wicket, unfortunately not able to get that uh, run out. Yeah, it's a tertius. Uh, T-backs, Robenheimer there. Uh, just the one wicket to aim at, and he wasn't able to get that. Otherwise, Andre today was gone for all level money. A thickish edge, and unfortunately, piece of man standing at a short third. That fielder there was uh, J.P. Mateson. Yeah, another false shot outside the off stump. Just have a look at it now again. He goes full top tilt for it. Try and get it over the man at extra cover. And all he manages to do is get a thick edge. Finds the gap between third, short third and backward point. Down to the boundary here at third man for four. So they all count though. Just lofted over the keeper, the bowler. And uh, four runs signaled by my wonder. The umpire, four pistol delivery, and Black Bram is definitely not missing out. Another boundary there for Marvel Cricket Club. Beautiful, beautiful shot. That for me, shot of the day so far. Just showing the full face of the bat. Blake Ramirez, classic shot. We just one ball away now from the golf ticket timeout. Yeah. One just sliding down the leg side and uh, just getting a single there. But a uh, good way to finish that uh, over 11 runs and uh, now we'll move on to the strategic break sponsored by golf ticket two minute break both coaches will be now having a chat with both teams and uh, that's the two minute break samay ho chuka hai darshako golf ticket strategic timeout ka और हम देख सकते हैं कि गल्फ टिकट द्वारा स्पॉन्सर ड्रिंक्स कार्ड मैदान में आ चुकी है ये दो मिनट का स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट है जहां पे दोनों टीम्स को आगे की रणनीति बनाने का मौका मिलता है अपने दर्शकों को मैं बता देना चाहता हूं कि गल्फ टिकट है यूएई का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद ऑनलाइन रैफल ड्रॉ ये फुल्ली रेगुलेटेड ऑथराइज एंड रजिस्टर्ड ऑनलाइन रैफल ड्रॉ है यू में खेलिए अपने किस्मत का खेल ऑन गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम अभी रजिस्टर करिए गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर 
और करोड़ों कमाने का मौका पाइए अपने सपनों को पूरा करिए विथ गल्फ टिकट गल्फ टिकट है यूएई का सबसे ज्यादा भरोसेमंद ऑनलाइन राफेल ड्रॉ गल्फ टिकट ने न केवल स्ट्रेटेजिक टाइम आउट को स्पॉन्सर किया है लेकिन वो हैं टैकल स्पॉन्सर्स भी इस लीग के गल्फ टिकट प्रेजेंस केप टाउन क्लब क्रिकेट लीग टी टेन क्रिकेट का असली एनिमल आखिरी कुछ सेकंड बचे हुए हैं जहां पे गल्फ टिकट ड्रिंक्स कार्ट को मैदान से अब बाहर लेके जाया जा रहा है देखिए बहुत ही प्यारा ये ड्रिंक्स कार्ट है जिसको कि गल्फ टिकट ने स्पॉन्सर किया है और ये ड्रिंक्स कार्ट अब मैदान से बाहर आते हुए दर्शकों को मैं फिर याद दिला देना चाहता हूं कि वो गल्फ टिकट डॉट कॉम पर रजिस्टर करके अपने किस्मत का खेल खेल सकते हैं और करोड़ों कमाने का मौका पा सकते हैं Just a reminder of the match coming up later today Tigerberg Cricket Club the Tigers of Tigerberg Cricket Club sponsored by MG Lion so we got the Cats there uh, the home team against Victoria Cricket sponsored by Cricket Trust of India that's at 1:30 p.m. South African standard time Nathan this is all set here 32 needed of 5 overs advantage Belvel you have to say at the moment just a crying James you're right just a crying now 6.4 runs per over now for Belvel while in the way to get that second victory for them ready this one off for four games for Belvel and uh, Northern's good yet to get off the mark with a W and now we have King Nook here to bowl no one team straighter Yeah, first time seeing Keenan bowling. It'll be interesting to see how he's uh, going to quit himself here. Looks like he's going to be bowling spin. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. The right arm off break bowler. Yeah, four pitch delivery just going down towards uh, long on. And uh, JP Matheson very productive out there at the moment the field the JP Oh yeah, Matheson. he's had a lot to do. Bit of retrieval work as well rather than just going in and fielding it. A ball went sailing over his head a couple of times. Strong man Andrew Sedain on strike. Another four pitch delivery. That one just sliding down the leg side. But good start at the start for Kin Nokia. Just Kin Nokia, 30 runs of 22 deliveries, um, and obviously gave them a to the to the total of uh, 83 for four. Both being on 25, 53 for one. And oh, a sweep, uh, and it's a no ball there from uh, Ivan De Jong. It's an in signal there from Ivan De Jong. No ball and four runs. Really expensive, five runs, and that delivery is not even legitimate. No, what a great shot! That reverse sweep, beautifully brought out, and a full toss, and it's going to be a free hit. But well, certainly, uh, Ivan Bailos Young, he knows his rules. He's going to make sure this comes in. Opportunity and lofted over, and not even a space there, and that is huge. Oh wow, what a huge hit off that free hit, and they've played, made sure Northern's Goodwood pays full toll for the fact that they didn't get that. Uh, he overstepped, and so now 11 off the first two deliveries of the over. In fact, first one delivery of the over, and that's exactly what he wouldn't have been looking for. And Pierce says to just watch him sailing over his head there. Oh, uh, twelve. Sorry, apologies. Twelve off the first three balls of the over. Another reverse sweep, and a lot to do there for the man standing deep extra, and unfortunately not able to get that one. Now the, now that's a six signal there from Arvind De Jong. Great shot, reverse sweep, and it's a six maximum here from that batter. Wow, he got hold of that one beautifully, just uh, getting it over the boundary there, right in front of that Laws Exchange sign. My goodness, an expensive over. They're just fairly cruising to this game uh, victory now. Another full toss and another one that's sailing over safe as head, and that is huge. Oh, it's like a 15 second huge that one. That is absolutely massive. And I think they've even taken out the tractor to go and chase that one down there on the right-hand side here. My word, that's a massive hit. That one just in the slot to hit, and that's taken Belleville 
to within uh, eight <laughs> eight runs of the victory, and that in only the sixth over. And I was thinking, 32 runs, well, that's not going to be that easy, maybe. Maybe they lose a wicket, they're going to be in a bit of trouble, but they're not even worried about that. Keenan Nokia, he's been absolutely pummeled in this over so far. 24 of just five deliveries. And now uh, Andre Sedan, well on his way back. to 50 miles, and again, I don't want to jinx it. The so-called uncommentator's curse. Just one delivery remaining now in his uh, sixth over. And, uh, for another full toss, and one going down towards the long one. That man again, JP Matheson, covering that one. And 25 runs, James, in that over. 25 of Keenan or Kier's only over so far, and they only need seven to win. And they can walk these now. They've got four overs left. It's going to be a big win for Bell. That's going to help them get up the log net run rate, as uh, Nathan's saying there, pulling that through. And we'll be interested to see the log after this. The last two overs, Ashley Green going for 21. Keenan or Kier going for 25. That's 46 runs in the last two overs. So that was it. Wickets in hand off to the power play, making the most of it. And they certainly have done Northern's good work. Looking dejected out there on the field. And you can hear the encouragement received here from the Belleville guys to our right. The men in maroon. Wow, we're rallying around Belleville this time, not just the West Indies. And that's been fantastic from these guys so far. And it looks like it's that man, Pierre Sester, again to bowl his uh, second over here. And uh, Belleville Cricket Club just requiring seven runs uh, with four overs to spare you. And uh, Andrew Sudain, 48 runs with 19 deliveries face. One over is a strike rate of over 200. So Yeah, he's batting at about a 285 strike rate there. Nathan, brilliant stuff from Andrew Sudain. He's on strike at the moment. And uh, that one just four and wide is going down towards long off just for a single. And you just have to wait a bit here for Andrew Sedane, for him to give him his rightful applause here for Andrew Sedane. Well, he's going to be saying to Blake Blamiris, he's going to say to Blake, just get a single, mate. <laughs> just get a single. I want to be there on strike to get to that 50. Batting at an incredible strike rate at the moment. He's batting at uh, about 250. So I got a bit uh, enthusiastic about the previous time saying what his strike rate was. Batting at 245 strike rate and uh, doing an exceptional job for his team. With him, Blake Blamir is just under 200 strike rate. Oh, balls him! Next time, flushes go to the ground, and uh, that's the first wicket now from Pierce Seister. Uh, unfortunately, Blake Blamir is not able to gather that one, gave himself a bit of room, and uh, that's the second wicket going down now, 78 for two. Yeah, uh, Pierce Seister, he's the man can stop you getting any runs here and that's a beauty you miss I hit and he does hit just knocks that leg peg back right onto the ground it's a beauty of a delivery and he's been by far the best bowler so far for this Northern's good with Tim Pierce Seister but Blake Blumeris must go but 25 off just the 14 deliveries what a great innings from him and, and the new man in and now we see the new man in Cornier van Groen the big lad Coming in at four, and uh, not much, much to do here. Uh, Gornier van Gen, we see his uh, figures there. Fourth innings here, 59 runs. He's a yeah, all-rounder yeah. here for um, Balvacre Club. Really had a great innings in that uh, match where they actually got over the line to win their only match so far. Belleville, and uh, he goes out to join Andrew Sedain. Sedain just one run away from a well-deserved 50 with that strike rate closing in on 250 for him. And that partnership between him and the Blumeris just taking them to with an ace of victory here. I think uh, that chat between Andrew and Cornier, just uh, telling uh, Cornier, young man, just give me a bit of strike. Let me get to that 50, please, young man. Uh, taking his guard now, and he just maybe just work it around. Pierce size seven for two. Hasn't he been brilliant? And most of the chaos around him, he's come through. And two wickets just for the seven runs, adding to the five wickets he's already taken the tournament so far. There, that run run I was speaking about, uh, James. And that brings on that uh, the big fish, uh, Andrew Sedey, now on 49 runs. Is this the time that he will get to 50, James? 
Well, he doesn't need to go all out here. They've still got three and a half overs to score five runs. Eight wickets in hand. And uh, no way on the, even on a quick info predictor, they're going to lose it from here. Short delivery there from Pierce Seister. And uh, leg. Ivan Diong not signaling anything. And uh, that's one for the over there. Ah, it's a good surprise bouncer. And he does decide to bail out wisely. So the man waiting there on the leg side for exactly that shot. Oh, and that one just going away from a right hander. I'm just a very lucky there not to get that uh, outside edge. Oh, yeah, how good has Pierce Sice to be? Really outstanding stuff. 1.5 overs, two wickets, eight runs. He's been one of the bowlers of the tournament so far. Seven wickets for the young man. And he's doing an outstanding job for his team. Northern's Goodwood, without him, they would really have been looking uh, in a lot more trouble, you feel. And lofted over, and that is another six, and that is huge. And that's the game. Andrew, Andrew Sedane takes the victory for Belleville Cricket Club. What an innings that has been from him. And he goes to 55, so he gets his 50, gets the win with that massive hit. It is an incredible effort here from Belleville Cricket Club. Andrew Sedane take a bow, and uh, Blake Blamiris, the other man, who's done so well for them in this run chase. And the team's there just saying congratulations uh, to the batters. Andrew Sedain getting all the credit there. No doubt, batter of the match here today. It's been Andrew Sedain, I reckon, a bowler of the match. Probably there, Blake Plumeris, or even, if you look at it, Pierce Seister, just going for that six off that last delivery, really messing up his figures, but two for 14 in two overs. He's certainly been uh, a really good from a bowling effort point of view. But it is Belleville that get over the line. They go to four points. And this will be a big boost for their net run rate. Looks like they'll be in mid-table now. And Northern's Goodwood remain rooted to the bottom of the table. The Yellow Peril uh, earlier on posting what looked like it might be a competitive total of 84. But this wicket's playing really well today. So don't be surprised this afternoon if the team that wins the toss going to have a decide to uh, bat on the surface as it's only going to get better from here uh, once again and it is going to be uh, Eugene shortly Eugene sorry Nathan shortly I'm so used to commentating with Eugene sorry Nathan I think it's because you do the huge so well as well you know uh, we've got uh, Nathan and uh, it's going to be doing the uh, post-match interviews with the captains of the two teams we're going to do the highlights first and then we'll be going to Nathan with the interviews with the captains. So uh, right now, just to show you this uh, Belleville win, we're going to go to the highlights.
about the conclusion of that first game and unfortunately Northern School did not to be today and we will have the losing captain. Losing captain Jukan will join me. Skip, not the way that you want to finish off that one. Yes, yeah, look, we've been struggling with the bat. We scored a little bit of runs today. We thought we were going to bring it back with the ball, but unfortunately it didn't go away again today. What would be the plan of action moving forward for, for the Northern School? Did yet to get a win this far? Uh, we're going to try our best to do both um, aspects of the game very well next game. We'll All try right. our best. All the best. Thanks, eh? And now we have the winning captain uh, from the Marvel side. Are you going to be able to help me? So fine. And uh, Skip, congratulations with that win. Thank you very much. And uh, so, f so obviously now you guys get the second win. What would be the key for you guys moving forward? Well, like I said, if we just stick to our game plan, stick to being disciplined throughout the 10 overs, stay focused, I think we're in this. Uh, Blake uh, Blumerus uh, did well the ball, both ball and bat, and up front was Andrew Sedane. Beautiful uh, key members for your side. Definitely, I've been waiting for Andrew to come off. He's a big player in our team. Obviously, like I say, when he gets that confidence going, he's an unstoppable force. And for Blake Blumerus, I'm really happy for him. He's uh, put in a lot of hard yards and um, it's paying off now. Thank you very much. All the best moving forward. Thank you. And that concludes today. And Thank uh, just you. Just another recap, uh, Balvo Cricket Club. Winning, the, winning that game, second win on, on, on the trot then for them. Unfortunately, Northern Guru not able to gather at win. And that concludes today's game, match 18 between Northern's Goodwood and Barber Cricket Club.